everybody can see. This is the less dramatic with one pound, but <laughs> equally as tasty. We actually did a, uh, a promo feature last year at a uh, minor league baseball stadium close to us, and we did uh, we did the home stretch. We stretched once relative from third base to home plate. Uh, we took 40 pounds of curd, and we had teams of volunteers, you know, people holding it, and we strung the fresh mozzarella from the uh, third plate. All right. So again, we've got it. Still some lumps and bumps in there. We're going to go in and out of the hot water as we need to. That helps keep the cheese malleable. But at this point, we're at a good temp. So I'm just very gently taking my four fingers and pressing them up against the palms of my thumb. I'm turning the cheese, and you can see how some of that lumpy bumpiness is kind of turning into smooth, shiny, kind of a silky look. So again, proportioning, as we did earlier, kind of make that C. I'm going to make a small, I'm going to make a bird. I'm going to go about three ounces there. Squeeze, rosada, make the tightest fist that you can until you feel the cheese break. Thumb and index finger, peel that down. Don't pull it up because it'll keep stretching. Down over your thumb. All right? Now, this is where we stopped before. We're going to keep this portion warm with our cream was cold. We're just going to take this ball, we're going to make what we call the ravioli shape. Okay, so I'm just taking my thumb and index finger, going around the exterior of this uh, portion, and I want a really meaty center with a thin outer ring. That's what we call the ravioli shape. Okay? You're going to place that, see, for the puto, over your open C. Take your stracciatella. We're going to press that down into the C. Okay, so my, it's open. I'm turning and I'm basically using my fingertips to just press that stracciatella in there. All right? This will take a lot more than you think. So the reason you need this to be warm is because you want that meaty center to expand into a thin outer layer. And the interior is that fresh stracciatella. Again, not messy at all. I mean, you can do this in the family room. While you're watching TV, no problem. All right, so we've got our stracciatella in there, and I can still fit some more. We need a bowl of very hot water because we want to seal the top of this guy. Okay? Put a little bit more in there for good measure. So we're going to pitch this off at the top, right? Everybody's accustomed to seeing those little purses of barata. Dipping that in there. We press the top together. Okay. Uh. So you saw how small the ravioli shape was when I started. There's still a lot of cheese up here that I can continue filling in. But I want you guys to sample it. And I think I'm running short on time, so.